In this video, let's see how to check whether the given set forms a basis or not. We already know that the given set is a basis if the given set is linearly independent and span of that set is equal to the entire vector space. If these two conditions are satisfied, then we will call the, that set as a basis of R cube or basis of any vector space. So now the first uh, question is determine whether or not each of the following form a basis of R cube. We already know that dimension of R cube equal to 3 means number of elements in a basis of R cube must be equal to 3. Check up the first uh, set of vectors 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. You can directly say that it is not a basis because basis should contain minimum 3 elements. Therefore, this set doesn't form a basis. Second question 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, minus 1, 1. 3 vectors are given now. You have to check are they linearly independent. Let's do that. How to check whether given vectors are linearly independent or not. Uh, these are 3 vectors in R cube. So, any n vectors in R power n are linearly independent if the value of the determinant formed by considering those vectors as the rows of the matrix is non-zero. If it is zero, then the vectors are linearly dependent. So, form the matrix with the, these vectors as rows 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, minus 1, 1. Get the value of its determinant 1. Uh, this is 2 plus 3, 5, then minus 1 into delete first row, first column, 1 minus 6, then plus 1 into minus 1 minus 4. So, that gives you minus uh, 5. So, 5, this is minus uh, 5, minus of minus plus 5, and this is 5 cancels. You will get 5 not equal to 0. So, when you get determinant not equal to 0, the vectors are linearly independent. Therefore, it's a basis because... We know that any three linearly independent vectors of R cube always spans the whole space R cube. So, no need to check the second condition. You can directly write it forms a basis. Now, the third set of vectors, that is uh, four vectors are given. We know the fact that any four vectors in R cube are always linearly dependent. Hence, the first condition fails. It is not a basis. Fourth set of vectors, there are three vectors. So, we have to go with the verification. Are they linearly independent or not? Calculate the determinant value. So, by writing these vectors as rows of the matrix and evaluate the determinant. I hope you know how to evaluate the determinant. First row, first column, delete it. 4, 2 is 8, minus 5, 3 is 15, minus 1 into delete first row, second column. 4 minus 25 plus 2 into uh, 3 minus 10. So, this gives you minus 7. This is plus 21, this is minus 14. Minus 14 minus 7 is minus 21, minus 21 plus 21 is 0. So, determinant 0 means the vectors are LD means linearly dependent. Hence, this doesn't form a basis of R cube. One more example that is very fine. Is it a basis or not? Now, suppose if you have 4 vectors of R power 4, all those 4 vectors span and they will either give a subspace of r power 4 or they will span, span the whole space r power 4. There is a no necessity that all the four vectors should always span the given uh, space r power 4, whole space r power 4. They may span a subspace of r power 4. So, first we have to determine whether these vectors form a basis of r power 4. So, if they are not forming a basis, so, then find the dimension of the subspace of the span. This is the question. So, let us first form a matrix with these uh, vectors as the rows of the matrix. Write all these vectors 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 5, 6, 4, 2, 6, 8, 5. Now, you have to check are these vectors linearly independent or not. There are four vectors uh, with the four coordinates and these are the four vectors of R4. Either you can apply the determinant method to check for the linear dependency or linear independency or else you can apply echelon form, row echelon form to check for the dependency. Okay, I am applying here the linear, uh, this uh, method that is uh, not the determinant method. I am applying here the row echelon form method. So, first non-zero entry of first row is 1. Now, elements below the first non-zero entry all should be 0. How to make them 0? R2 changes to R2 minus R1, 
R3 changes to R3 minus 3 to R1. R4 changes to R4 minus 2 into R1. So, first row no change as it is. 1 minus 1, 0. 2 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 1, 2. 2 minus 1, 1. Then 2 minus 2, 0. 5 minus 2, 3. 6 minus 2, 4. 4 minus 2, 2. 2 minus 2, 0. Th uh, fourth and first. 6 minus 2, 4. 8 minus 2, 6. 5 minus 2, 3. Again, apply the same. First non-zero entry of the second row is 1. Elements below the first non-zero entry must be 0. So, R3 changes to R3 minus 3 into R2 and R4 changes to R4 minus 4 into R2. So, no change in the first row, no change in the second row. Then third row changes as 0 minus 0, 0, 3 minus 3, 0, 4 minus 3 to the 6, 4 minus 6 minus 2, 2 minus 3 minus 1. 0 minus 0, 0, 4 minus 4, 0, 6 minus 8, 4, 2, minus 2, 3 minus 4, minus 1. Now again, this is the first non-zero entry of the third row. Come to the third row. First row down, second row down, third row. It is the first non-zero. Element below the first non-zero entry should be 0. Therefore, R4 changes to R4 minus R3 because minus of minus it becomes plus. No change in the first row, second row, third row. Fourth row changes as 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, minus 2, plus 2, 0, minus 1, plus 1, 0. Now, there is a 0 row. If you get a 0 row, the vectors are linearly dependent. Therefore, these the given four vectors are not linearly independent. They are dependent. If they are li linearly dependent, they do not uh, form a basis of R4. If they are not a basis, they may span together and they will give you a subspace. It's not a waste now. Though they are not a basis, these three, four vectors will span together. Means linearly dependent means this fourth vector the in the span, it merges with the span of these three vectors. So, it is a linear combination. Alpha V1, Beta V2 plus Gamma V3 plus uh, another A into V4. The, now, this vector span merges with within the span of uh, one of these vectors. Hence, they become linearly dependent. Therefore, they won't span the whole space R power 4. They will span a subspace of R power 4. Now, they are, as they are forming a subspace of R power 4, uh, spanning a subspace of R power 4, what is the dimension of that subspace? We have to find out that. Therefore, name the subspace as span of uh, these uh, Three, four vectors, V1, V2, V3, V4. Now, dimension of W is nothing but dimension of row space of A. That is the dimension of the given subspace. What is the dimension of row space of A? Dimension of row space of A is nothing but rank of that matrix. Rank of the matrix is nothing but number of non-zero rows. You have to count them. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, the dimension of the subspace spanned by these four vectors is equal to 3. And if you want to find out a basis for that subspace, now you got the dimension. If you want to find out the basis for that subspace, then it is the uh, these rows of the echelon matrix. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, minus 2, minus 1. This is one of the bases. Or else, the corresponding rows of the given matrix, the non-zero rows, which are the non-zero rows of the echelon matrix, R1, R2 and R3. The corresponding rows of the given matrix, R1, R2, R3. They can also form basis of the subspace. So, you can have one more set of bases as 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 5, 6, 4. You can write any one, one of the set that gives you the correct answer. So, this is how we solve the problems based on the basis. You have to check whether the given set forms a basis or not. For that, you have to check is it linearly independent and is, is its span equal to the whole space V. If that is one of the condition is not satisfying, then we will say that it is not a basis. I hope you understood the concept. Thank you for watching.